Hey guys and welcome to Hands On Cooking. My name is Chris. Today we're making a meatloaf. This meatloaf will have a combination of ground beef and ground pork and we will freeform the loaf for maximum browning. So now let's get into the recipe. For our meatloaf today, we'll need one cup of breadcrumb. I'm gonna use one third cup of milk. One medium onion that we will coarsely chop. One celery stalk that we will coarsely chop as well. Four cloves of garlic. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Two and a quarter teaspoon of salt, divided. One and a half teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Two large eggs. Half cup of ketchup, plus more for serving. Three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Lastly, we'll use one and a half pounds of ground beef and a half pound of ground pork. So we'll start off by soaking the breadcrumbs until we need it, and then we'll start chopping the onions, celery, and garlic. So what we will do now, we'll transfer the breadcrumbs into our container here, and then we'll simply add the milk. We'll give this a mix, and then we'll put it to the side until we're ready for it later on. So now I have the onion, our garlic, and the celery all washed. We're gonna coarsely chop these up. We'll start off with the onion. So after chopping these, we'll put it into our food processor. So I really like the one that I have. If you wanna take a look at it, you can head down to the description and you'll see a link for it there. So now we'll work on the celery. Now for the celery, we'll simply And we'll also just toss them into the food processor here. And as far as the garlic, I'm just gonna cut them in half. And also I'm just gonna toss it into the food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can chop all of these up by hand. So now we'll use our food processor to chop these up. So this is what we got after using the food processor. Now we're gonna head over to the stove to cook these. Now that the oil is hot, we're gonna add the onion mixture. And then we're gonna add some salt, one teaspoon of salt, and then a half teaspoon of ground black pepper. Then we'll cook this for about five to seven minutes. All right, so it's been five minutes. We have the heat turned off. So now I'm gonna add the Worcestershire sauce to it. We'll get this mixed in. So we'll head back over to the counter where we'll add this to the breadcrumbs. All right guys, so we're back at the counter. We move the breadcrumbs into a bigger bowl. We'll take our onion mix and we'll add it to it. Get this mixed together. So our next step will be to add the ground beef and then the ground pork into it and mix it as well. So we'll add our ground beef first. So I'm gonna put the spoon to the side and start using my hands. Now that we have the beef mixed in, we'll add the pork. I'm gonna use my hands as well to mix this in. Now that we have the pork and beef all mixed together, I'm gonna to add our two eggs and mix this in as well. Now that we have the egg all mixed in, we're gonna add a quarter cup of ketchup. Get this mixed in as well. Last two ingredients, we're gonna add one and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of black pepper. And we'll mix these last two things in. So now we'll get our 13 by nine baking dish and we'll put the meat in there and we'll form it into our meatloaf. 
Before I put the meat in the baking dish, I'm going to turn the oven on. We're going to preheat it for 350 degrees. So we're going to take the meat and we're going to put it in our baking dish. We're going to make it about five inches wide and we're going to make a mound. We'll take our meat here. shape it into a mound again we're not using a meatloaf pan just because we'll get better surface brown in here so I'm gonna shape in the meatloaf so I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna come back to brush some more ketchup onto it so we're on the very last step before I put it in the oven I'm gonna take our quarter cup of ketchup and we're gonna just brush it all over it All right guys, so just a close up, this is what it should look like once we brush the ketchup on. So I'm just waiting for the oven to hit 350 degrees and then we'll put this in. So the oven just hit 350 degrees. I'm gonna pop this in for 60 to 75 minutes. So we'll let it rest for 15 minutes before cutting. So we're gonna cut into the meatloaf. Alrighty guys, so this is our meatloaf for today. I paired it with some mashed potatoes. Please let me know what you think about the recipe. Would you add anything to it? Would you take anything away? Also, please like and subscribe to the channel for weekly recipes. Again, my name is Chris and I'll say enjoy.